हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ यू ऑल माय नेम इज हर्षित द्विवेदी एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक टू माय वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो फ्रेंड्स वी विल बी लर्निंग मार्जिनल सीज ऑफ द वर्ड सो दिस वीडियो इज प्रेजेंटेड बाय मी फ्रेंड्स इफ यू वांट टू फॉलो मी द लिंक ऑफ माय इंस्टाग्राम प्रोफाइल इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो सो बेसिकली मार्जिनल सीज आर दो सीज फ्रेंड्स व्हिच आर एक्चुअली नॉट वेरी मच ओपन इन देयर ओरिएंटेशन इन देयर जियोलॉजिकल ओरिएंटेशन दे आर नॉट लाइक एन ओपन ओशन और एन ओपन सी दे आर एक्चुअली इनक्लोज्ड now how they are actually enclosed what are the examples of marginal seas of the words this we are going to see in this video so the definition is something like this it is a division of an ocean partially enclosed by islands archipelagos peninsulas adjacent to or widely open to open ocean at the surface and or bounded by submarine ridges on the sea floor so this is basically saying that it is enclosed by islands archipelagos peninsulas adjacent to so you can see you know friends in indonesia they it is indonesia is an archipelago canada is an archipelago so there are lot of enclosed water bodies there which will turn themselves into a marginal sea so marginal sea is basically those who are actually you know partially or completely enclosed by some other water some other land bodies like islands archipelagos peninsula and that is why they become a marginal sea okay now one thing you need to keep while studying marginal seas in your mind is that there is no single authority to decide that what exactly a marginal sea is okay so basically many sources differ over which seas should be considered marginal and which seas should not be considered marginal and if there is a marginal sea that marginal sea will be considered a part of which ocean so all of these points there is no one single source of authority to decide on of these points okay so we cannot say that this marginal sea is a part of this this marginal sea is a part of this ocean or this ocean or that ocean uh, this can vary according to the jurisdiction according to the nearby countries and a lot of international bodies there is no one single body moving forward we will discuss some of the marginal seas of the world here you can see gulf of california friends this is mexico and this is basically usa so this is in between there is a gulf of california this is a very important gulf so this is also a marginal sea this is a gulf enclosed on all the sides this is gulf of mexico then uh, according to this definition all these this is persian gulf uh, okay friends so these will also become actually marginal seas so and you can say that the gulfs bays they will become a marginal sea seas like black sea aral sea okay so all of these things these water bodies i will be discussing in my subsequent videos friends also <coughs> this is the arctic ocean you can see this is russia so this laptev sea this east siberian sea this kara sea these are also marginal seas friends because they are you know joined to the open arctic ocean but here they are actually in between some what land bodies so they become marginal sea now we are going to see some properties of marginal sea friends so the most basic difference between open oceans and marginal seas is their depth and their proximity to land masses you very well know that marginal seas are near to the land masses they are being surrounded or partially enclosed by land that is why they are marginal okay and if they are surrounded by land and they are near to land then obviously their depth will be less than the open ocean so this is a very big difference marginal seas depths are comparatively less than the open ocean depths so they are shallower and actually they are more influenced by human activities and this is very much logical friends that they will be affected by human activities because they are near to the land masses so all the things like Uh, you know river runoff climate change water circulation are affecting the health of marginal seas a lot of human waste and discharge and industrial waste pollutants chemicals are continuously going inside the seas so they are affecting the nearby areas of the oceans which are near the land so they are affecting marginal seas more also the biggest impact on marginal seas due to the fisheries industry because 90% of the world fisheries they are being fished from the coastal waters which are located within 200 kilometers from the shore line so major obviously if you have to catch fish if the fishermen have to catch fish no matter how advanced the technique is they are not going to go beyond around 200 kilometers to catch the fish friends okay because not even 200 kilometers they hardly go 5 10 kilometers inside the sea to catch a fish okay so this is one more thing that marginal seas are affected by the fishing industry then many other things like sewage disposal dredge disposal offshore dr oil drilling accidental release of pollutants including petroleum products radioactive waste detergents plastic so they are also responsible for the degradation of the marginal sea friends because when all of these things are being thrown inside the sea so 
you know the pollutants uh, concentration in the water increases so this is the effect on the marginal sea friends i hope this video was helpful for you if it was helpful kindly subscribe to my channel like this video and share this videos more and more with your friends so goodbye friends have a great day take care